On episode six of What's In My Mail, we have some pretty interesting fidget stuff and my all-time favorite backpack. So let's check it out. So today it's gonna be another EDC haul, which I guess is really what you guys are here for. But first, some gifts again. We got this one from Vessi. It's just this all white, really soft hoodie. Shout out to Vessi, thank you for sending this out, as well as Insta360 for sending out their hoodie. This one definitely feels a little thicker. And uh, on the back, waves. Actually, I'm gonna change into this real quick. It's a little big on me, but uh, I kinda like that for loungewear. It's kinda a little freedom to move around and don't feel so stuffed after eating a whole meal. Plus, is anyone like me where they kinda just take out the hoodie string because whenever I'm eating, it actually dips into my food, so now I just take them out. All right, so starting out, we have some travel-related things. These are kits from Side by Side. I featured their travel bags before their electronic accessory pouches and stuff. These guys, also a pouch, and they come in these little plastic bags, but it's this guy here, and it's kind of like this thin money pouch. These pockets here are actually, they're fully flat and they take up the whole space there and they're designed to hold mass. So you have one up here, which is, it says spare. So you have an extra mass there. And then the one down here, it says in use. Those zip up, so it's all concealed away. And then you have in the front here, two stretch pockets. So this pocket, you store other essentials. They give you a bottle for hand sanitizer. And there's even another one here. And this is like a touch-free pen. Uh, so you use it to push buttons. So, and if you take off the tip, it actually becomes a pen. So you don't have to use those public pens if you're afraid of that, like I am. It's always nice to have one on hand. On the other side, you have some more. Looks like it's just a lanyard. So you can wear this around your waist like a hip bag, or you can wear it around your neck, or just throw it in your pocket. You can fold it up like this, so it becomes like a little folded wallet. And this could be like your essentials, everything you need always take this with you kind of thing, leave this in your jacket. And they do come in several colors. Got a blue and pink one here. One of my favorites is this nice olive green, kind of like camel look, pink and maroon style. This one's actually really nice too, this yellow and black style. And yes, they do all come with that spare sanitizer bottle and that pen and lanyard. Very cool if you need your essentials all in one place. This kind of makes it really easy for you to have. Next up on more bag related content. This is from one of those brands that I've been eyeing for a really long time. Coat and Seal, I believe that's how you say it. They're kind of on the expensive end, but they make some really, really cool designs. And like this is a bag. It's not a belt. It's actually a bag. And you can see here you unzip this whole section and it can actually expand quite a bit. Put things like your phone inside, you can actually carry a water bottle and anything on the bigger end you'd think wouldn't fit in here, but it's actually pretty spacious. Good. Zip it all up and it just becomes this little flat belt-like style, but it's actually a full-on bag. These are metal blacked out, which is awesome. And just overall, for something so simple, I can now see why you pay that premium price for it. Even the materials are kind of premium. So huge fan of this. I'm gonna try and figure out a video to fit this in, but this is the Ada sling bag. Kind of just folds up like this, like an umbrella. On the note of bags though, my mother load, like I mentioned in the beginning, is one of those bags that I've been eyeing for a really long time. It's the Hauser bag from Mission Workshop. It's not your general everyday carry bag. This is actually more for like active running or on the go cycling, that kind of thing. And it sticks to your body really well. It's really flat and really skinny. So it's not meant to hold your laptop, your lunch and all that stuff. But I like it because as an everyday carry, like if you think of slings, this is like a sling in a backpack format, which I love because it carries just enough and it doesn't stick out from you. So when you wear it, it sticks to your body. It doesn't look out of place on me. So you still get the benefit of backpack straps. You know, to me, a lot more comfortable than wearing it shoulder style. Uh, and you do get that aerated back because again, it's more of an active bag. It actually comes with a tool pouch because again, it's meant to be a biking bag. So having a tool pouch on you, your essentials, in case your bike breaks down, they include one for you. It's a pretty simple bag, bunch of mesh pockets, zippered, keeps it separated from the rest of your gear so it's not scratching up anything. You have smaller details like every zipper on here, you can see how reflectiveness is water sealed. And it's even got a roll top here, which get a little more room. Otherwise, it's just a really long bag. So a lot of stuff, but very specifically shaped to fit this bag. And if you unhook it there, you can actually just 
hook it in there. And then it becomes a fold down top kind of thing. You have pockets on the side here. I believe it can fit a 13 inch laptop. It's meant to hold a water bladder as well. They even have a dedicated hook up here. You can keep it from falling down. Pass through on both shoulder pads for your tube. Again, reinforcing the fact that this is an active bag and it's actually meant to be more of a bladder style bag. But for me, perfect for the everyday carry uh, if you want it in a backpack form. All right, another goodie gift from one and only Space Station. Love those guys. They've helped me work so much in the past uh, and I still work with them. They sent me this over the holidays, so it's a little late, but let's check it out together. A lot of stuff. Another hoodie. This one's a lime green one. So this is from Sean Durris's collection, I think, who's the uh, founder. You might know him as the skateboarder, YouTuber, family guy, but he has his best day ever, which is awesome. So I will be wearing that around the house as well. Uh, some other things. It's like a puzzle box. It's a secret opening box. Looks like you gotta figure out this puzzle before you can open it. So it looks like you can put stuff in here and the only way to get to it would be if you solve this puzzle. Don't. You can kind of hear. I'm not going to solve it right away because I'm not very good at that stuff. Let's see. This is a genuine meteorite that comes from outer space, which is super their vibe because space station. A uh, bunch of stickers from space station. And looks like this is the last thing. <laughs> Some fry sauce. I would definitely be trying this on some fries. So this looks delicious. Thank you to the Space Station guys. Another box I got, this is from a bag brand. It's called Slope. I wouldn't say it's revolutionary, but it's definitely something I haven't seen before myself. I believe it was designed with the intent of snowboarding. Instead of going on the back, it goes on the front of you, which makes it super easy to grab things because you have so much you know, jacket, gloves, and everything on. Having a bag in front of you is way easier than having it behind you or even in a sling bag. And they've developed it in a way where it just makes things very easy to grab. So first, you have this bottom pocket here. Great for, I guess, a water bottle or something a little large. It's kind of spacious. What's special is this handle here because if you had a big glove on, you can yank down like this and then bam. You're supposed to have your phone in this pocket, I believe. So it's a little mesh pocket, a little snack in there, key in here, so your lock key maybe. And then when you're done, pull it right up and it Velcros down. But what really sold me and why I even bothered to check out this bag, there's two zippers on the side here. You zip this down, same thing on the other side, and it goes right through. So when wearing it on your chest, it is a perfect place, like a kangaroo pouch for your hands on the bag. And on the inside of the bag, it's actually like a teddy bear. It's encased inside here, soft, so it's protected. And they even include a water bottle. So one of these plastic, portable, foldable, once it's done, it's really flat kind of water bottles. Like as an example, you can have it in there. So when you need it, bam, glug, 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 and then bam, you're done. And then your hands are warm. You keep it in here. I think it's a really cool concept. They even have a back kind of patch so that when you wear it, it's kind of like a baby carriage thing. I think it's really cool because it's so different, but I could see why others may think it's weird because it's such a new way of wearing a bag. Let me know in the comments. All right, on the topics of wearables, I have some pretty cool hats that I bought and some were sent to me. This one being one of them, this is from Gorilla Group. It's just an all blacked out cap. On the back, it's actually a rope knot, slip knot tightener thing. So it's not your typical trucker hat style. This one, you just pull the Titan. Minimal branding, so it's got their SIG normal and illusion. They have another model which has it on the front here, but I went with the all blacked out model. This is a waterproof material. Overall, just really well built, comfortable, and I love the adjustability on the fly. This one I also purchased. This is from Finley. Uh, it's got two pieces to it. Well, it's not, it's not related, but this is a hard shell kind of helmet insert that goes inside your cap, which I thought was super cool. Plastic shell, it's got some padding on the inside. So it's not meant to replace an actual helmet, but for anyone that's, I don't know, scared of their skull getting hit by something, this is their regular Finley cap. A little different because this string out here, it unties itself, then you loosen this knot. You have a camper style hat. You can hang on your neck, so when you take it off, it just hangs on the back. I'm very interested in anything different when it comes to wearables, especially caps. So I saw this and I was like, oh, it's pretty rad. Hat itself, pretty regular. It's got a thicker material, which is nice. And you got your standard dad cap kind of lock there. Anything hat related, cat tech is really cool. Insert in there. You can't even tell I have it on. Um, I don't know like a big reason why you would need head protection, but it works. On that note, before I found that one, I actually bought this one. 
which is a much more flexible style. The inside actually has a little bit of foam, not as protective as the other one, but a lot more flexible so it can fit more heads, more hat styles. In the instructions, they actually show you that you can cut it to size. So that's another benefit of these thinner models because you can actually cut into them and fit your actual hat style. Last one for hats. This is from Wazoo. I believe that's what they're called. Wazoo, yes. They're like outdoor survival accessory gear. They're exact same caps, but this one has the Velcro patch on the front. This one doesn't, so it's a little cleaner. You have that standard dad cap look. I'm a huge fan of and I love personally. As basics, it looks like it has waterproof material. Looks like it's a ripstop nylon here, but if you flip it on the inside, it says three more pockets and a pocket here. And really tight in there, which is great. So you unhook that, it's a little pocket in the bill of your cap, which is super secret. So great for, again, those survival needs. And then on the inside, there's a mesh pocket, which is pretty cool in case you need to, you know, hide something, even just have it as an extra pocket. You're not hiding anything. You can have your keys, your wallet, your cash. If you don't have any pockets to carry it elsewhere, having it in a hat, kind of smart. Oh, I forgot to show off one other accessory from Finley Caps. This is a trucker cap extension, which I never saw before. And I thought was ingenious because sometimes when you buy a trucker cap, it just doesn't fit because you got a big head and that's okay. So this is like a extension for it. Looks like two, two and a half inches around your head on the backside. Comes with a bubble gum, which is interesting. This is a brand that I've been eyeing for a long time. I have a lot of the gear as well. They just sent over their new mask, Scotty Vest. They make jackets, sweaters, and clothing that have a lot of hidden pockets that you would not have guessed was there. They have jackets that can hold iPads, like 20 phones, earphones, you know, all your daily essentials in a jacket. They just released their new face mask, which I'm checking out. It comes with a little pouch that you can hang on it. The pouch actually inverts into itself and it becomes a pocket. They put pockets into the strangest places and I love it because you never know when you need extra pockets. Best part is this top here has a nose bridge wire. So just like that, nose bridge keeping it sealed. You have the filter area here, breathes nicely, fits nicely, comfortable and soft. And then you have a pocket down here. Again, if you wanna carry your keys, your cards, if you don't have any pockets anywhere else or something secret, some extra cash candy, who knows? Although you have a filter area here, it's a little harder to breathe because you do have to go through that filter. With gaiters, you can just turn it. And now on the other piece of the gaiter, much thinner material so you can actually breathe when no one else is around you. And then when you see someone coming, bam, you have the full filter area here. And then when you're done with it, the pocket, and then you just start stuffing it in just like that. And then you can hang it on something with the carabiner built in, you can throw in your pocket, your bag, and have a gaiter style uh, ready as a backup or your main one. And yes, Steve Wozniak loves their gear because if anyone knows Steve Wozniak, he carries like a million things. He's the ultimate EDC lover. I got two tools from Glow Rhino. These were sent out to me. So the first one I have here is their pry bar, which I think looks really sleek. The simple pry bar, that bar actually glows in the dark, which I can't really see now because it's a lot of light. It's a pretty regular looking pry bar. I love the simplicity. Lanyard hole that doubles as a flathead here. Bottle opener, flathead, pry, scraper, whatever you want to do, have this on your keychain. Then we have this guy, which is their keychain glow bar. You can have this on your keychain and in the inside there is a whole bar that just glows at night and you can always find your keys in your bag, wherever it's dark. These are really cool. Built pretty solidly thanks to the metal body. Digging it. I picked this guy up recently from CRKT, their new multi-tool, which was super interesting to me at least because it's got a form factor of like a knife, but they've stuffed multi-tool stuff inside of it. Pretty flat, but the first thing you notice is that clamp here, spin it to open, spin it to close, and it locks in. You have the main boy, which is the knife. Doesn't look like your standard knife. It's not gonna win any beauty contest, but when it comes to practicality, I love that all these things are stuffed into this slim and smaller body than a regular multi-tool would be. And you have that Canto style blade. Uh, what else we got here? We have this as a bit holder here. And then on the top goes in there. And now you got a screwdriver, flathead, do your job when you're done, pop out the storage and you put the bit back in. 
You have a bottle opener as well, of course, because what would a tool be without one? And you have a standard bell clip. So the benefit here is, although you don't get a lot of tools, you have a much smaller body, feels better in the hand, I think, and then you do have that emergency window glass breaker up here as well. Sometimes having less is more, so you don't have to fiddle around with finding what's right. You know, here's the clamp, here's the tool, here's the knife, that's it. From CRKT, this is their new guy. So this is really cool from Alpaca. Their new Kickstarter, it's a whole system based on the Fidlock magnetic attachments. So you have the main guy, which is this bulky kind of belt clip holder, which although bulky, I do kind of really love just because it's got that industrial vibe, you know it's gonna be there. So while not perfect for the minimalists or the people looking for a sleek design, I like the bulky and chunky look of it. And then you have that function thanks to the Fidlock and it just clamps onto your belt. It's got that tech wear vibe to it. So that's the belt clip. Then you have the two other guys here, which is a wallet style attachment. You have two card slots here, a clear face for, or translucent for a card. And then this one is a whole holder for a hand sanitizer. Push it open, get your goodies out, lock it in place. These are replaceable, but they do come with one if you wanna just fill that one up. Snaps in place not going anywhere. And then you have that magnetic system. So again, if you don't carry your keys with this little guy, you can use this instead. Carries your hand sanitizer, or if you don't use that guy, you can carry your wallet so it's quick access, your ID card, bam, 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 bam. And these Fidlock stuff, they ain't going anywhere. The best part is, once you get home, you got this, which they call the hub. This is the mini one. I've already set up the bigger version, but this mini one here is just this really thin metallic bar and then these fit perfectly with how this magnetic system works and it hooks onto the top there. So imagine this connected to a wall, just like that. Bam, you kind of have everything docked in one place. That's the alpaca hub system. Love it because magnets, who doesn't love that? They're on Kickstarter right now, so they're still funding, but as you can see, they have full on prototypes ready. So if you're worried about them not actually shipping, they've done, I think nine or 10 campaigns now. So I wouldn't worry about that if you think this is gonna suit your lifestyle. Definitely check this out because Kickstarter gives you a pretty decent discount right now to help them start this up. So check them out down below. Another wearable that was sent to me, this is a belt and it's cool because so, I mean, it's got that minimal vibe to it. Black belt, it's this really tough nylon, but it's the buckle that's really interesting because as you can tell, there's no clips or things to hook into. You push it in and release. Yes, it is also based on magnets. What's nice is no matter how hard you shake and tug, it ain't going anywhere. It stays in place, but you push inwards and out. And these things are tough. These are made of metal. And they have several designs for the buckle. This is like a carbon fiber-ish black, which obviously I gotta get the black on black. So I'll definitely be wearing this a little more often just because of how simple it is, honestly. All right, a few more before this video gets too long again, but this is from Mini Swiss Knives, which is a custom sack Swiss Army knife in an all black. So as you can tell, the plates flattened it looks like a carbon fiber, which I love. I chose a black on black look. So all the inserts and the plates are all black, but you can choose from a different, few different colors. So what's special is all the tools are based on an actual Swiss Army Victorinox uh, mini champ, except he adds in this spider cold blade. Really mini little guy, super sharp, really cool to have and play with, but you still get your regular one, but why would you ever use that when you got this little guy here? It sticks out a bit, but that's perfect for being able to grab it. I love the mini Swiss Army knives because they're super pocketable and this is just awesome. So I ordered this custom with him and if you like what you see, I mean, it's hard because it really is just a mini champ stuffed into a new body, but this blacked out body, you can't go wrong with. I'll link his Instagram down below. That's where I ordered it. Give him a DM if you like what you see. So yeah. This one I've been eyeing for a really long time, but finally bit the bullet. Just look how unique that looks. So it's like a belt clip built into the actual knife. And as you can see here, actually doubles as a safety clip. So when you open it, you can see it goes through both. So you can never just open it by accident because there is no lock to this. So it's something you just fold open and close. 
which is great because it's still useful on this side. You have the pry bar, flat head, bottle opener here, and the belt clip, so that's how you can hang it. And come on, I mean, just look at this design and tell me it's not cool. Flip it open, you got this mini, almost cleaver-like design. Comfortable as you can fit your finger in. Feels safe as it kind of holds itself in place when you're holding it. And then when you're done, just folds in. It's just awesome, and when I find cool designs like this, you can't go wrong. All right, I featured some M Gear stuff before, but they sent me over some new stuff. This is a little belt clip chest storage thing. Uh, it's about the size of a credit card actually, but much thicker. If you can see here, it's actually closed off with a piece of leather. And then it's two carbon fiber plates and this really heavy duty belt clip. Unclip it and bam. It's just this little storage area. You can store coins, keys, whatever. It's got this storage space inside that's protected by this carbon fiber plate. You have that thick leather to keep it all secure and it just holds it in place. You can attach your keys onto this or you can hang it by this if you don't want to use the belt clip. This guy is really cool. I wish they did an all black one or at least sent over an all black one, but I ain't complaining with this really nice dark brown leather that's going to patina really nicely and that carbon fiber look. They also sent over this guy, which I thought again was really cool. I'm really big on like sanitization products, masks, you know, pandemic products because it's so practical. It's stuff we need right now. So for brands to come out with all this cool stuff, I'm a huge fan of. This is a sanitizer bottle that's magnetically clipped into this metal body. Standard bottle, open, spray your goodies out. And then if you want to replace it or refill it, just like that. And they just connect itself. So not permanent, but in my scientific shake test, it does stay in place. So you can count on it to just work. So it won't fall on its own. This is really cool to just clip on and then have something ready with you. Lastly, they sent over this guy, which I believe is their updated key organizer. This thing here, another one of the bell clips. And as we've I've shown before in the channel, this magnetic thing will hold your keys in place. You put it in there and then this kind of clamps it together so there's no jiggle. They have it face plates that you can customize as well. And yeah, just this mini, pretty durable key organizer. And then they have this little guy, which is a belt clip that offers an additional hook on the bottom and then always have it accessible and be easily retrievable as well. And this thing is just built like a tank as well. Metal body, some leather accents as well. Yeah, I think that's my favorite part of M Gear. They use this really nice thick leather. Having that mix together is really nice and they've done it really well in um, all their products. I think the last thing I want to feature is all this stuff. So these are all fidget toys and fidget spinners from a place called Fidget House, which I freaking love. They use some premium materials. So this is one of their spinners. You have the balls in the center. And these are just super fun to play with. This is probably one of my favorite. This guy, it's like a hex nut on a nut, I guess. And it just spins copper and stainless steel or titanium or something. But it's super fun to play with. And it's super convenient to hold. And these just feel premium. Like they're weighty, nice and compact. So, so this is the mother load that I showed in the beginning of the video. Not something you want to carry with you every day. This is the size of about like a chicken egg and it's heavy. But first you have that center piece that spins, but these two tops also spin, but haptically. So you can feel every click. This is the Zerk model, which I think almost instantly sold out. So this is a prized piece, but they do have it in other materials too. And there is a stand specifically for it. Just due to its shape, it can't really sit well. So it's got a stand, you put it on your desk and this is like a centerpiece. Then we have this guy, which was actually meant to look like a chocolate bar. It does this. So it's a slider clicker thing. Uh, it's very satisfying to play with. I have the copper version. And then this guy is a very interesting form factor. So this alone comes separately. So imagine this wasn't there and then this would spin on its own and these two sides also spin. So a lot of spinning going on in this guy, which if you like spinning, it's really fun to play with. But then if you buy this additional handle, it just makes it even funner. It's like holding a lollipop that spins that you can just play with. It's a different grip than you'd usually have with something like this where you're pinching it and spinning it. 
about this guy, you're just holding and just spinning. A different experience, and I actually prefer this one because it's, you know, it's like you're actually holding a toy. And it's just fun to do, which is actually, it's called a hammer. Not cheap, uh, definitely not a hobby for everyone, uh, but these are pretty awesome to play with if you do have the spare cash to spend on things that just spin. Uh, but I'll link these guys down below. I'll link their shop down below. So definitely check them out. But anyways, that's it. Let me know if there's any products that you really liked in the comments down below, or let me know what products that you think I should check out. I'm just gonna go play with my spinner now. I rest my spinner.